Other than this, not too much, especially with the way uh, the wind's blowing at this moment. Obviously, you can see what Havoc and I are up to today. Believe it or not, we had a quite heavy bit of snow this morning too. And uh, yeah, this is the way it looks this uh, mid-afternoon right now. So yeah, once again, we got Havoc and I doing our uh, random, uh, or our not our random, but uh, more of our routine uh, daily uh, run. Especially for him, uh, he didn't get one yesterday, so uh, I'm letting him dog out a little bit more today, you know what I mean? But besides all that and the wind uh, and that beautiful sun up there, we're going to drop this uh, video out there that we got wrapped up for y'all. And it actually has something to do with, well, actually, not this exact location, but this uh, freaking blue dot that we happen to be living on. And uh, that big bright one up there and a couple of other ones that are floating around up there in that sky there. Enough with all the odd words of trying to dissect something of what is what is. We're talking about something that most of us don't even know what it is when it's called. Uh, and it is a trapenzi. Yes, a trapenzi. And my buddy John happened to get a hold of one to uh, do some repairs on and uh, wanted to call me over to kind of show it off uh, and... Uh, you know, all the above that goes with it. And uh, honestly, I think the first time I've ever seen a trapenzi uh, of some sort was in a movie. And uh, that movie was called Dark Crystal. Uh, if anybody out there has ever seen that uh, puppet uh, style movie from the uh, 70s, it was uh, Jim Henson. And it was in Ogre's Laboratory that had that huge, gigantic trapenzi style system with all the planets for alignment and all the above. Good boy. Yeah, buddy. You can just tell how heavy the wind is by just looking at the blades of grass there on the ground. Not to mention Havoc's fur. Oh yeah. He ain't got no problem with the dough. It blowing right through that thick old coat of his. Ah! Come on. Woo! Hey. Woo! Uh, get ready to uh, check this little bit of science out right here that we're about to show. How you doing, Mr. Puppy? Huh? Did you have a good run up? Yeah? Good boy. Yeah? Good boy. Yep. Havoc's definitely in a good mood now. So, once again, as always, you know where we go from here. Stick around and enjoy the show. It's not doing what now? There, right there. It's got a bent gear. So what am I doing right now? Hanging out with John, my friend once again. Yep, the one that made this uh, awesome walking stick and he called me over for a project that he's actually just started fiddling with again right over here on one of his workshops. And this thing is called a Trapenzi Planetarium. Yes, we've all seen them probably in movies and stuff. I know I have. I think I've even seen it in a museum. Just a bigger scale. Okay, anyway. Yeah, he was already talking about the uh, wiring need to be replaced. And he hadn't plugged it up until just then. But yeah, that's what it's called right there. And uh, as you can see, it belongs to the Casper College. He's just trying to repair it, which as you can see is in need. He plugged it up and I started to hit record because he wanted to test it out first. And uh, that's where we're sitting at the moment. The wire is 
dry rotted too, so we're gonna have to find a new cord. Yep, he was already telling me all that when he first introduced this thing to me. Uh, that he was showing me was all this fantastic chain and cog gearing that everything is set up and connected with. Yep. He's gonna go trip to Circuit Breaker. Havoc and I are gonna just hang out here for a moment. In the meantime, uh, yeah, he was basically telling me that these things go for a pretty penny out there on the uh, on the market right now on the interwebs. You can find them uh, even in this condition right here for about eight hundred or so uh, eight hundred or so dollars. So yeah, up to a thousand dollars, even more in uh, proper condition, especially when he goes to repair this wire right here. As you can see, he's got the lights working again, and we're gonna continue moving forward. But yeah, if you see how everything is set up on a cog and chain uh, accuracy for every turn as it rotates to line everything up as needs be for the world, sun, moon, and so on. And then as you see down here, it has a proper uh, calendar for the uh, way it's going to set for each time of the year uh, during January to July that's just pretty sweet and yeah the electric is obviously for the light that was on earlier okay I think I spoke uh, pretty much on a, a lot of it here but something I'm not familiar with is this compass right here is that what that is yes I think it's missing the needle. Okay. And the glass, I guess. I can feel it. it must okay. have broken at some point. I got you. But yeah, this is definitely some piece of uh, work right here. That uh, I'm glad he called me over to show me. And uh, what he was talking about that he's looking to repair. This gear right here. He said, obviously, uh, whenever you go to rotate it all, the chain pops off like on a bicycle. No, it doesn't pop off. Okay. It binds. Okay. So, <clears throat> planets rotate counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. So, look, we're in a bind right here. See how it binds? Uh, yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. You see where it just sticks. It doesn't want to turn. Right. Uh-huh. And best as I can tell, if you look at these teeth, they're not parallel with this arm. Uh -huh. They actually run on a little bit of an angle okay. as you rotate it. So, I think the shaft for that gear is better. There, yep, again. you can see where everything just jumps. Yep, and doesn't go smoothly like it's supposed to go. Yes, you can see that. Okay, and that's what you plan to uh, do some repairs on. Yeah. To uh, give it back to the college. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at all this. Look how those gears are set for this one right up here too. All the, you know, design and architect that went into making and uh, producing such an item and how old it, what year would you say this was made i'm going i could best as i can tell this model with this style of paint and judging by the globe the countries on the globe the way it's set up it's 50s ish i was thinking 50s i really was yeah, it's 50s ish okay i really was thinking 50s i thought you were going to say 40s or 30s but yeah mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. They had some older ones that were Go lay down. that were similar in color, and they were made of Bakelite. But I did the alcohol. Is it alcohol? Anyways, there's a test where you can rub it and it smells funny. You okay. Tell if it's Bakelite or not. I don't think this one's Bakelite. Plus the way it's shorted out right here. Uh huh. This is some sort of I think enamel covered steel base. Gotcha. Because it's it definitely arced into the base yes it did and uh, I believe that's what you're about to start working on so we're gonna back off from this and uh, yeah all right well we're just gonna start it the way I did which is just hit play and uh, now I'm gonna stop, stop again found himself a uh, another wire it came off of a shop vac which was missing the the bottom bucket to it but motor and all was running right so he found a a good replacement cord which the other one was completely dry rotted and uh, cleaned up the chain lubed it all up and also he just told me the problem on what kept it from jamming up was uh, a bronze bushing which is inside this gear shaft right one of this one okay which was inside here and what 
what happened is with a bronze bushing, it's like, you know, brass, bronze, it'll warp after a while of being used in one it, direction. It was, yeah, it was used in one direction, so I flipped it over. I flipped it over, put it back in. I cleaned and lubed all the gears, cleaned and lubed the chain. I tried to take some of the stretch out of the chain. There was a couple of bad spots in the big chain and uh, counterclockwise. There you go. The uh, earth rotates counterclockwise. Look at that. Coming up on an eclipse event. Right. There it is. There. Okay, so what month are we on? Gemini, you're getting close to December, your November, December time frame. It's definitely winter in the North Pole. Awesome uh, uh, way because, of the, uh, looking at the if, calendars back in the day. If you look, you can see the Earth is tilted away from the sun. So when the, when the North Pole is tilted away from the sun, mm -hmm. the Northern Hemisphere is in winter. When the North Pole is tilted towards the sun, the Northern Hemisphere is uh, in summer, which is what we're gonna be starting into now. We're making the swing. I thought these were pretty neat. These scales that they built into the plastic on the sun. Right. That is pretty cool. That's right on that. Okay. okay. And we'll catch you on the next flip flop. Huh. Ha, 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 ha,